Hey everybody, I'm Lauren from It's the Kellys and today starts a new packing series that are all examples that you guys have asked for. Up until now on this channel, I have reviewed luggage, I have given you guys travel tips and tricks, and of course I have done packing videos. However, I've always packed for trips that I'm currently going on and those might not be trips that you need help with. So recently I asked you guys all of the different trips that you want help packing so that I can start packing examples. And the goal of what I have is for every Wednesday to have a new packing video with some sort of scenario or even just packing help. I see a ton of comments out there on the internet that when people do packing videos or even packing reels on Instagram, all they pack are clothes and they don't pack anything else. And then viewers are really frustrated because they're not really packing. I see a lot of comments of people being like, yeah, well, you're a size zero, so of course that's really easy. Well, guess what? I'm a size 2XL and my husband is a size 3XL. So everything you're going to see in these packing videos, we are larger people and it's still possible to pack in a carry-on or a personal item like today. So if these videos are helpful, feel free to share with your friends and family and travel partners because I am so passionate about helping you guys travel often and pack well. And that's what this channel is all about. I guarantee you, you can do your bucket list in a carry-on because I have. So today I am packing for a weekend wedding, personal item only. And this was a scenario given by one of our viewers on Instagram. And I was really excited when I got this example because not every trip you're going to pack for is going to be some two week trip across the world. You could just be going to a wedding on an airplane and you wanna pack light and you don't wanna pay for baggage fees. So that's what we're gonna do today. I have a personal item bag packed for Brian and a personal item bag packed for me as if we were going to this wedding together. And not only do we have an outfit for the wedding night, but we have an outfit for the night before as if you were going to a party and for the morning after as if you were going to a post wedding brunch and then I have included other things in there as well and yes I included shoes and toiletries and all that okay so let's go ahead and show you what I packed for Brian I used the underseat pro which we have reviewed on this channel a dozen times it is personal item size even for spirit and frontier and it does have a ton of space it is on wheels and it does have a handle, so it is one of those wheeled under seat bags. For myself, I opted to use the base mini weekender and I have reviewed this a long time ago, honestly, when it came out. It does open up and have everything in it and then it has the bottom compartment. And this is obviously personal item size as well. I decided to feature both of these because I haven't really done much of a separate packing video for them. If there is another bag that you want me to feature in these new packing videos, then please let me know. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Brian's bag and I will show you everything that I packed in here for him for this weekend wedding that we are going to be attending. This is Brian's suit coat that he will be wearing to the wedding. I put this inside out with the shoulder pads like this and then I fold it in half and then I gently fold it into thirds and then that is what makes it the perfect size to fit in this personal item bag. So this is always gonna be laid on top. Alternatively, of course, you could just fly holding it or put it in the overhead bin. But you guys, everything in this bag was packed overnight before waking up and filming this video this morning. And everything in here looks perfectly fine. And of course, as soon as you get to your hotel, go ahead and put this on the hanger. Next, we have this tiny little Away packing cube. Both of the packing cubes in Brian's bag are from Away. I have his suspenders, dress socks, and underwear. We will be wearing an outfit while we fly, which of course will have undergarments, a shirt, and pants of some sort. So do keep that in mind when you're packing for the weekend too. And some of that stuff can be rewearable. Look at how perfectly this fits, you guys. This is such 
a packing Tetris moment for me. These are Brian's dress shoes, size 13 men's. They fit perfectly in this underseat pro bag, and especially with the Away packing cube. Oh, I love it. This is Brian's packing cube for the weekend. First, we have two button-up shirts. Now, like I said, in this mock pack, we are going to be packing for the actual wedding for a party the evening before where you might dress up a little bit more and packing for a brunch for the next morning before your flight. So we have two button-up shirts, whichever one he wants to wear for whichever occasion. They both match the suit coat and the pants I'm about to show you. I did fold it as crisp as possible and like I said these have been sitting overnight folded and they're still perfectly fine. Rolled up I do have his pants that go with his suit and then for the brunch the next morning and flying home we do have one pair of jeans and we do have one polo shirt. Slip that in there this one right on top of the shoes, and then the suit coat right back on. Now, there are these compression straps right here. They are removable. You don't have to use them at all. I'm going to buckle them just so that everything stays in place, but I'm not going to completely compress them down. Now, this is it for everything for Brian. Um, any other shoes are the ones that he would be wearing on the plane or for travel. And then all of his toiletries are going to be in my bag with my toiletry items. Because Brian doesn't need as much as me to get ready. So let's move on to my bag and I am really excited to pack this for you guys. Now this is the mini convertible weekender. So there's a mini weekender and a mini convertible. This is the convertible which means that this bottom compartment completely detached attaches if you want it to. Most of the time I open it up just like a normal weekender without actually detaching it and it's especially easier to just pack that way. When you want to reattach the bottom it is a little bit difficult. So this right here is going to be the dress I'm going to wear to the wedding. I have this nice pretty pink dress for the evening before and of course honestly depending on how I feel for the day I can totally switch it up because they're both appropriate to go to a wedding. And then I packed this really pretty little beige pattern skirt that rolls up really nicely and I did pack this little shirt to go with it. Now of course if this was going to be my outfit for brunch afterwards maybe I'm not feeling well enough to wear this little top and I want to do something a little bit more casual instead but I also have this outfit with a pair of wide leg pants with another beige shirt option and then I do have this little top as well and that can mix and match just like a capsule wardrobe to go with either of the bottoms that I packed for that day. Also you know maybe the wedding is obviously on a Saturday night and there's fun stuff to do Saturday during the day. These are also options to wear to go explore the city that you are traveling in. These are packing cubes from Traveler's Choice. These are the Cloverland packing cubes, and this is the pattern Kaleidoscope. So this is kind of their medium one, and this is their small one. In here, I have just a little pair of shorts, either for pajamas or just chilling around the hotel room. I do have another little shirt, again, just like this. I did pack a color that could work well with the other outfits, but I imagined this as a pajama top for people. And then I do have a Skims bodysuit because maybe you need to make your body a little bit more svelte to fit in those dresses. So I did pack that with some bras and underwear that are appropriate for the dress as well. So all of that fits in here and there's plenty more room. Now of course for a wedding we do have to have a little evening bag and then most importantly it does pack flat. I packed one pair of heels. I'm packing these for you guys. I would never wear heels. I am not a heel girl, but I did want to pack these to show you and I'll show you how nicely they fit in the bottom of the bag. I do have my hair straightener that also is good for curling hair. And then I have all of our toiletries. This is a little bag from Trip Travel Gear. It has our toothbrushes, my makeup, deodorant, anything that we need 
to freshen up for the weekend. Because it is a weekend trip, I did not bring anything to wash my hair because ideally if I were doing it, I would just give myself a really good blowout before I go and my hair would be fresh for the whole weekend. And then when it comes to body wash and stuff like that, the hotel will have it. And then I do have this little purse just because you're not gonna wanna necessarily wear your evening purse every day. Do keep in mind, if you're traveling and all you're bringing is a personal item, your purse does need to go in the personal item, so that's why I included this. So let's go ahead and pack this bag now. We're gonna start with the bottom compartment, the shoes, the toiletries bag. Now for the inside, this is what they call a doctor's bag opening. It opens like this and keeps it completely square. Now, a lot of people really like that. I personally think that it kind of takes away from room from here up versus if you were packing in more of a traditional type of duffel. We're gonna start with the big packing cube. It will fit perfectly in there and there's still a little bit of space next to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my purse right in there. Now we're gonna pack the purse and of course, you guys, you're going to a wedding. You need to pack a wedding card. So what I'm gonna do is put the wedding card. This is not really a wedding card. This is the card for my nephew's birthday next weekend and it's a taco with eyes on it. But just pretend that the bride and groom really want a card with a taco on it, okay? I'm gonna slip that in there for safekeeping. Of course, you can buy a card when you get there, but if you're anything like me, you're gonna forget. Of course, then we have these packing cube and then we have the flat iron. Everything is packed in there. Zip it up and here's your bag. All right, so we are packed and you guys, this is exactly what I would pack for Brian and I to go to a weekend wedding. Now, if we were flying, like I said, these are personal items, so we would not have to pay any baggage fees. You don't have to check a bag and you don't have to carry on a bag. And I could totally pack for more days if I wanted to. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you guys are really going to like these new videos that I'm going to be making. If you have any trip scenarios that you want me to pack for, please comment down below and let me know because I am happy to do these for you. If there's a bag I featured before that you want me to pack in, please let me know as well because I will be utilizing as many bags as I can for this new series of videos. I hope you guys are subscribed to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Check us out on Instagram too where I have a ton of more tips and tricks so that you can travel often and pack well like I do. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.